Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Now we will study limits of a rational function. Let there be a rational function fx is equal to gx by hx form, where hx is not equal to 0 obviously, else it will be infinite. So if we want to find the limit of fx, so fx is nothing but gx by hx, so we can say this is nothing but limit of gx by hx. Also we know that limit of gx by hx is equal to limit of gx by limit of hx. This we have learned in the algebra of limits and we also know that limit of gx, limit of gx where x tends to a is nothing but g of a. So that's why we have written this as g of a and similarly limit of hx where x tends to a is h a. So, this we can say that limit of the rational function where x tends to a is nothing but g a by h a, where f x is g x by h x form. Also, we have to observe here this the g a and h a comes out to be 0, 0 form. Then we can rewrite the factor and cancel the factor which makes it 0 by 0. If we put the value of uh, x is equal to a here in g a and h a and you get the value 0 by 0, that means we can rewrite the factor by cancelling the factor which make it 0 comma 0 if the value comes out to be k by 0 form then that means it is undefined For example let's suppose we have this function x square minus 4 right by x minus 2 this is the function and here a is equal to let's suppose 2 now if I put uh, g a by h a that will become 2 square minus 4 by 2 minus 2 that will become 0 by 0. Since it is 0 by 0 form, then we can rewrite the factor. So, what I will do is x square minus 4 by x minus 2. I can write this as form x plus 2 into x minus 2. I can write x square minus 4 and this I can write x minus 2. Now, since we have to cancel the form which makes it 0 by 0, we know x minus 2 is the culprit which makes this 0 because we say 2, 2 minus 2 is 0 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So, we will cancel this guys. So, what we get is x plus 2. Correct. In case of x plus 2, we will now put x equal to 2. So, we will get 2 plus 2. This way. So, the limit of this function at x is equal to 2 is nothing but 4. So, what we have done? First, we have written this into g a by h a form and we got 0 by 0. And then we found that since it is 0 by 0, we have refactored this by cancelling the factors which made it 0. And then we got x plus 2 actually here. And in this x plus 2, when we say x is equal to 2 here, we get 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. We will take one more example. So, let's suppose we have this equation x cube minus 2 by, we have let's suppose, uh, by x minus 2. Correct? Here also we have to find this limit with respect to 2, x equal to 2. So, here also we will put g2 by h2. This is equal to 2 cube minus 2 by 2 minus, that is 8 minus 2 by 6 by 0. This is k by 0 form. And that means value or limit of this function at x equal to 2 is undefined. Correct? What we have done here? We have just form put the value of g2 by h2 and we found this value came out to be 6 by 0 that is of form k by 0 we can say that the limit of this function at x value is undefined we will take some examples so here we have to find the value of x cube by 5 by x plus 20 where x is tending to 1 so what we will do here here we will write g1 by h1 first correct that will come out to be 1 cube plus 5 by 1 plus 20 and that is 6 by 20 this is a good value. So, we will say that limit of this is equal to 6 by 21. That is the answer. Because had this been 0 by 0 form, we would have to refactor. Had this been k by 0, we would have told that this is undefined. But this value is k1 by k2. Correct. So, that means this is a valid number. And we can say that for x cube plus 5 by x plus 20, limit x tends to 1 is nothing but 6 by 21. We will take one example. Here also 
we have to find this value uh, limit. So we'll say that this is nothing but g of 2 by h of 2. That is nothing but g of 2 is 2 cube minus 4 into 2 square plus 4 into 2 by 4 2 square minus so our right hand uh, the denominator comes out to be 0 and the denominator is 8 minus 2 to the 4 4 into 4 16 plus 8 that is 0 by 0 now since we have 0 by 0 form that means we can we have a option to factor it so let's factor this guy so what we get is x into x square minus 4x plus 4 by this is x plus 2 into x minus 2. We have further option to refactor this also. This becomes x into this is nothing but x plus 2 whole square or x minus 2 whole square. This is x minus 2 into x minus 2 by x plus 2 into x minus 2. So we'll cancel this x minus 2 factor. Now this is the guy which is making x tends to 0, 2, 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we'll cancel this factor. So what we get here is now if you put g2 by h2, you get is uh, 2 into 2 minus 2 by 2 plus 2. That is 0 by 4. And that is 0. So the answer is 0. So limit for this function exists at x is equal to 2 and the value is 0. What we have done, very simple, we have found g2 by h2 and we found that this value was 0 by 0 form. So we refactored this and this, and we have cancelled x minus 2, x minus 2 because this was the culprit that was making this whole equation 0 by 0 and we have got g2 by h2 now as 0. Now let's take one more example. Here we have to find limit x tends to t for x square minus 4 by x2 minus 4, x square plus 4x. Here also let's find g2 by h2. Correct. So this value is 2 square minus or 2 to the power 4. This is x to the power 4, sorry. 2 to the power 4 minus 4 by 2 to the power cube minus 4 into 2 square plus 4 into 2. What I've done, I've just put the value of x is equal to 2 here. So what I get is 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 minus 4 by 2 to the power 3 is 8 minus 4 into 4 plus 8. So what you get is 12 by 0. Since we got 12 by 0 form, that means it is undefined. Correct? We know that if I get something in k by 0 form, that means this limit at x equal to 2 for this function is not defined. Very simple what we have done, we have just found g2 by h2 because here a was 2. And we got this value at 12 by 0 and we told that this value is not defined. We'll try one more example. Here we have to find again at x equal to 2. So for this also we had to say g2 by h2 and this value comes out to be 2 cube minus 2 into 2 square by 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6. So that value if you see that is 8 minus 2 to the 4 to the 8, 8 by 4 minus 10 plus 6. That is 0 by 0. Since it is 0 by 0 form, that means we can refactor it. So let's refactor this. This becomes x into or x square will take common. This becomes x square into x minus 2. Correct? And this becomes, we'll refactor this. This becomes x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6. Or we will get x square into x minus 2 here and we will get here x minus 3 x minus 3 into x minus 2 x minus 2 x minus 2 will cancel because this is the guy which is the culprit because when we say x equal to 2 this becomes 0 so we cancel this so this becomes x squared by x minus 3 now in this equation we will put x is equal to 2 so what we get is g2 by h2 again we will say this becomes 2 square by 2 minus 3 that is 4 by minus 1 that is minus 4. So minus 4 is the answer in this. Very simple what we have done we have just found g2 by h2 we found this value was 0 by 0 form that means we have a provision to refactor it and we refactored this guy and we have 
cancel this x minus 2 because x minus 2 was a component that was making it 0 by 0 form and then we have got this answer as minus 2. Here. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.